Capricorn. Thank you for turning in the perfectly imperfect tarot. This is Green Eyes giving you the first reading of the new year, my love. But readings are timeless. If you found the message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you, my love. Or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, astronauts, pick a note. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Capricorn, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth, my love. going to hear me use the terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, have, her, pay, that, no, mine. Feel the energy. And remember, roles can always be reversed. I thank you for likes, shares, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and thank you, and thank you, and thank you again. Capricorn, please. This is the Animal Spirit Oracle deck. Capricorn Energy, please. Hello. Ah, Starfish. I like that. Oh, shoot. Okay. We got a snake at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Starfish, let's talk about this good energy. And the snake isn't bad, but I'm saying, oh, shoot, because I know what I felt. So just give me a second on that. But starfish, open to infinite possibilities. Open um, to not conforming to uh, situations and circumstances. You, you know what I'm saying? Um, anything is possible. Anything. OK, um, this means that this is a time that you really want to listen to your intuition. And I know it sounds easier said than done, but it speaks. It, there is a light inside of you that is leading you and vice versa. I ain't going to lie because we talking. You know what I mean? Um, so you really have to if you're um, focusing on positive and you're pulling in positive, um, therefore, you're manifesting positive, you know, but there is some unfinished business here. That's what that um, felt like. I would have liked to have a starfish from um, a whole place. It, uh, how can I say that? This is not broken. It's just damaged the, the snake is talks about healing you know what i mean um it, it's a it comes in uh during times of shift during times of change rebirth uh transition um difficulty isolation separation things like that um uh and it uh, assists with your healing you know what I mean? Uh, the snake sheds the skin and it healing, you know, is different levels of healing. You know, there's the actual shedding of the skin, basically trying to get that, release that energy from yourself. And then uh, there's also the thickening of your new skin because new skin is very delicate. You know what I'm saying? So it is a, yeah, watch and wait. It is a transitional time. All right. So if you're in, feel like you're in this energy of transition, then still stay positive. That's what the starfish is there for to represent, to remind you of. Stay positive. Okay. All right. Let's put some tarot down. Um, let's go with the author. Sagittarius is here. You might have Sagittarius in your chart or be connected. Heavily connected. It, it, it's almost like the energy is like flowing together.
center energy, please, for Capricorn. Love is here. You're healing love, maybe. Healing your heart. Center energy, please, for Capricorn. Hello. There you go, King of Pentacles. And there you go, healing, Four of Swords. See? Same energy. Same energy, okay? But stay positive, stay true to yourself. You know who you are. You know your strengths. There is very few that can even compete with your drive. You know what I'm saying? Um, so because you guys are so grounded, you know, you're so focused, you're so you're due dil diligent on whatever your task is, you know. Um, so stay true to that, even though right now you may be dealing with other things, love, family, something really um, I want to say it like that. Yeah, I want to say it like that. Love, family, things like that. Understand that the Four of Swords is a time of thinking, reflection, contemplating, resting, and things like that. But during this time, it's uh, also you also processing, okay? The Three Swords on top um, for you uh, could be the pain that you're processing, but you have the ability to cut yourself away from that. You know what I'm saying? To cut that connection, you're just resting on that right now, thinking on it, on maybe how or when. You know what I mean? So just know that you still have control, okay? You still have control. Crowning energy, please, for Capricorn. Ha! Shamalama ding dong. Okay, let's get to this meat and potatoes. That's what I'm talking about. The meat and potatoes. I was wondering because I felt like you guys were doing really good lately, handling whatever came your way. You like you've just really been trying to handle it as positively as you possibly could. You know, um, you might have got hit with a shamalama ding dong. And now tower energy is divine, scorpion energy here. Um, oh, by the way, if you're new to my channel, I try to call the signs if I remember. Don't get caught in that, please. Feel the energy. Anybody has the ability to embody any sign at any time. Never forget that, okay? All right, so this Shamalama Ding Dong right here was a doozy, all right? Divine energy. It was quick, lightning struck, all heck broke loose, you know what I mean, in so many words. But, you know, the tower falls because it's either built on a faulty foundation or it's blocking your divine path, all right? Therefore, divine intervention had to be um, called. You understand? Usually, it hurts. When you take blood, sweat, years, and tears building something that is just struck down in an instant, yeah, it hurts. Okay? But it is divine intervention. It is necessary. Okay? It's necessary. Believe me, even though at that moment in that space and time, it doesn't seem like it or feel like it. You're like, what good can come of this? And good usually, I'm not going to say, I'm a saying usually because some people get towers as a weapon, karma, things like that. But in this instance, it, it's divine intervention. Okay. Something's leaking. I'm sorry. I'm trying to stay away from that because this is a general reading. You have a leak behind your wall and you need to address that. You hear it and you think like, oh, it's nothing. Yeah. Get it now. Trace that water. That water will find up. <laughs> oh, baby, I know too well. Get it now. Don't let that uh, dilly dally. You know what I mean? Um, it's. I think you didn't do it or didn't want to make the hole in the wall because of the holidays or people coming over or whatever. Nix that. Get that water. Okay? There's a fight here. I'm seeing a wolf. I'm sorry. Uh, wolf, to me, usually represents the need to defend, protect, um, and it's usually physical. Yeah. That's a fighting energy. Hmm. What's undermining Capricorn? 
What's undermining Capricorn? What's undermining Capricorn? I have to wait for that one. Four of Pentacles reverse. Did you get robbed? I mean, we talking. Don't nobody have to know. But we talked about that all last year. So I'm not surprised to see it. I ain't gonna lie. You pay for something or... Hmm. Yeah, somebody got robbed. Yeah. Um, I don't feel like robbed, like uh, threatening robbed. I feel like cheated. You know what I mean? Maybe you paid for services you didn't receive or something like that. Others of you, you already know. We talked about it. I'm not going to um keep going there with you. And you know what I mean? I'm not. This is, a, some of you, this is a child, your child. Okay. And as a mother, I understand. What you going to do? You can't put them back where they came from. <laughs> Um, for you, that's not your story. Four Pentacles reverse. Um, it's and it's working against you. So, so let's go go through this. Four of Pentacles in the upright would be holding on, um, holding down, holding back, things like that. Uh, things that you feel that uh, energy that you feel is valuable to you, okay? Or feeling like you need to hold on as tight as you can. Now, in the reverse, it's either the release of or the taking. Feeling like something was took. You understand what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I want to say it like that. Some of you feel like something is being taken from you that's yours. I'll leave it like that. Where's this coming from? What brought this energy on? This goes here. Hold on. This goes here. That's what you're saying. Ah. Six of cups. Okay. So we're talking about um, emotional balance or feeling. Uh, yeah, emo emotional balance. I have to say that. We're talking about um, an emotional exchange or how can I say it? Like somebody giving you something to make it okay. So you could have maybe got to a place where you were trying to give or you were receiving um, emotion that made kind of things level out for a minute. Now, this is also past life connections. I have to say that as well. It ties to family. Um, as uh, physically, spiritual family, past life, whatever, you know, things like that. This is still a forward moving energy. Make no mistake about it. So in some way, shape or form, you found yourself in an OK place. Not good, not great, but OK, I can work with this. You, you know what I'm saying? Let's move forward. And in the moving forward part. This happened. This tower happened which stopped you and said, now what am I going to do? Because I lost this. You know what I mean? Caps you with me? All right. Don't forget anything is possible. Heal in the process. Okay. Because things are going to change. Let's, let's see. For what, what I could, what, you know what? I couldn't even. I did. Mm, mm, mm. When I tell you things are going to change in your favor, hmm, baby, this wheel of fortune right here is going to be like a wheel of paradise. You know? Um, yes, I want to say it like that. A wheel of paradise. Okay? Um, the transition, the transition from here to here will be angelic if you just allow yourself to flow through it. 
Try not to force it. Try not to control it. This is, I feel like being gifted to you, this wheel of fortune. Uh, it's like a, just a nudge to get you, just to keep you moving. You know what I'm saying? Stay in a positive thought space and um just heal you know stand your ground what happened i took this is divine intervention spiritual assistance this is flesh i ain't gonna lie this is this is of the world so in this world in this skin suit that you're wearing you lost something and it was dear to you or you feel like you're losing something that's dear to you and this will of fortune is saying you don't need it i got you you know what i mean under the deck, two of swords, you have to see that. That's going to be your key, okay? Knowing that you don't need this because you're torn, two of swords, okay? This is somebody that really doesn't want to face the situation. Um, she blindfolds herself because she knows she's stuck between a rock and a hard place. You know what I mean? But energetically... It looks like you're moving on in your head with the Six of Swords. You're just trying to get, I got to get away from here. You know, I want to get out of this. Maybe you're thinking about taking some time off from work. Three of Pentacles here with the Six of Swords. You might be taking a time, a break from people. You know, I got to get away from people, places, and things. All right? So I can think. There's too much going on. Five of Wands. This is a fight. Okay? But I told you... The wolf was there. I, I smelt that. This is a fight. For some of you, I'm not going to lie. And I don't condone it. But it will be physical. Okay? A shove, a push. You know, to me, that's physical. Like, you know, as far as I'm concerned. You know, I, my hands are for my body. Your hands are for yours. Please keep them away from me. You know? Some of you, this is physical. All right. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is div uh, not divine. Um, first of all, all things, all energies are divine. But uh, Knight of Pentacles, um, a tangible uh, gift coming in or um, offer. Let's say it like that. But I'm not impressed. I, I'm not going to lie. Even though this magician is right behind it. So you can, if you embody that magician, try to speed up this night because this is a turtle with hemorrhoids, okay? I feel like this is somebody trying to make amends, you know, um, maybe give you something to try to, uh, what do you call it? Like um, not cover up, replace, replace what you're losing. But it, it has no weight. You know, it has no weight, even. Mm, and it's not because the pinnacle isn't worth it. The pinnacle, um, the knight's pinnacle is worth more than these four in value. But the fact that they're taking so long, it's like, you. do you want it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, do you want it? It's almost as if, Cap, you're going to try to manifest karma for somebody. Ouch. I ain't gonna lie. We talking. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Some of y'all... Mm -hmm. I like the Ace of Cups uh, in terms of reconciliation because I see some forgiveness here. It's divine love, you know? I have to say that. Uh, representing new emotional beginnings. But this queen... I don't feel like, how can I say this? I feel like this queen is teaching somebody what divine love is. You know what I'm saying? It's as if, yeah, I want to say it like that. You might consider a, a, a reconciliation, you know, forgiveness and things like that, but not without a conversation. OK, because it needs to be you need to understand what love is and what healthy love is and honesty and integrity. 
um, and uh, the exchange of emotions is, things like that. I feel like that's what this queen is, you know, talking about with this cup here. I'm not going to lie. To really wise somebody up with this Hermit energy um, so that they can think about the turn of events. Um, High Priestess, Piscean energy here, Virgo energy with this uh, Hermit. Um, Caps, I really, really... I think that you you're really underestimating your power. I can't say this enough. Listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. Even when it's something you don't want to hear. Your intuition is not lying. It's not. It's not lying. It's not, okay? I I have to say that. I'm sorry. Um how you look is not important. It is what it is. But the choice is yours. Whether or not you're going to step out on this new adventure, new beginning. Yeah, uh, you're really trying to get somewhere. But just be safe. You know, things are different out here right now. But you're trying to get somewhere with this Eight of Wands. Change is what I'm hearing with the, from the Eight of Wands change maybe change your scenery change your home change something even with this king of swords and this queen of pentacles you know i have to say that some of you you're dealing with somebody that This is a nasty mouth person. And I know you got a mouth, but this is a nasty mouth person. They're backed up by nasty, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain that. They're backed up like they, you just be careful. Make sure you have boundaries up when you're dealing with this King of Swords. It smells like, it's air energy, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, by the way, but it smells like um, Sagittarius. There's Taurus here and Capricorn. I ain't going to lie. Backed up. See? Three of Cups. They might have a little uh, friends, family, brothers and sisters, whatever, that back up, back them up. They're backed up by foolishness and they're, and they're just, they fell for the banana in the tailpipe. They're following along with this little crew here to try to shake your foundation. Be true to who you are. Be true to who you are. Nobody should be able to tell you nothing about who you are, especially when they haven't. accomplished as much as you, got over as much as you, been through as much as you, attained as much as you. You understand what I'm saying? You can respect somebody's opinion, but this is an opinion. This is somebody trying to be degrading, but I'm just trying to give you an example. You can expect somebody, uh, respect somebody's opinion, let's say on parenting, but if they don't have any children and never had them, I, 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 it's only going to go but so far because... You're not going off of experience. The experience of an event is so different from hearing it. Life has taught all of us that. The experience of something will, it, it, it just either confirms and validates or it changes. You know, you have to go through. And these people are nowhere near what you've accomplished in life, but they got so much to say about it. It's pissing me off. See, page energy, pissing me off. Caps, be careful. This is a lot of drama. And it's very close to you. It's very close to you. That's why you try, you're thinking about trying to get away. So I understand that part. Stay true to yourself. Remember who you are. Let God be God, because these are changes taking place that, and they're supposed to happen. I'm going to say it like that. They're supposed to happen. In, in the mean and in between, heal. Okay? All right. I hope this helps. If any event, none of it resonates, 
It's all right. Check your moon and rising. Please don't take the energy with you. Leave it here for another cap. It's okay. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Make sure you're notified of future readings. Cap, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.